liner clamp here so I can set my liner heights. When they come in, I don't have one. It's got some scrap steel here. Let me use this bar, drill a couple holes in it. I got it measured for length um, to use a couple of cylinder head bolts. And then I'm gonna take this piece here and mark it with an old liner. Uh, take the plasma cutter and nip it off to size and I'll grind it nice and smooth so that it fits in just inside the OD of the, the top surface of the liner, the, uh, the shoulder, I guess. Um, and then I'm gonna weld this to the bottom of this uh, uh, where it goes. Um, and then I'll just slide the whole thing down. Once the liner's in there, a couple of uh, bolts um, in the cylinder head bolt holes, tighten the whole thing down, pressure on the liner, and then I can measure the deck. Here they are, two pieces cut. Uh, still hot. I'm gonna lay out the holes now. Um, just gotta measure the distance between these centers. Center punch them, take a drill press, make some holes. And then I'm gonna lay it on there and mark it so that I spot the this part in the right spot and put it back together. I'm just gonna find the centers here, real simply with a combination square. holes drilled under there. Still kind of hot. It's pretty darn accurate for just a, come on, get off of there. A few um, quick cheater measurements, but drops right on there. So it'll go on any of these set. Um, now I'm gonna lay out the block. here like this and mark it and then uh, weld around there yeah, just, it doesn't have to be perfectly centered in here because you know there's some room for it to catch the shoulder so but I clamped it on there and now I'll just take this whole assembly 
Go over to the fan it over here. Kind of bumped it a little bit. I was gonna leave it right on the little little wood clamp I had there, but I wanted to use this clamp. So I kind of pinched it together and then took it apart, but it may have moved just a tiny bit. So I'm just gonna put a little tack on it and take it over and check it. Well, I skipped ahead a little bit, but there's the final product here. Uh, these are just a couple of 5 8 bolts I had that were a little too long, so I had some bushing stock that I cut to length and tacked in there. And then I tacked a washer on the bottom of these bolts and so now they're captured. Um, just because otherwise I'll lose them and I'll never find them again. Um, but it just basically drops on here. Is the tolerances are so tight on the holes that if, if you get one going down a little farther than the other, it binds up. So it goes down nice and straight, actually. It's easier with two hands. I'm gonna throw a little paint on her and set her aside and wait for the liners and shims and pistons and all that good stuff to come and put her to good use. Or and how now I built it, they'll all be fine. <laughs> 